Hutchinson, while on an OUR mission about four years ago, was accused of fondling a purported child sex slave. The incident was caught on camera. OUR won't release the video. Hutchinson denies the charge. And he says the purported child sex slave was later determined to be 18 or older. I interviewed Hutchinson and he described the incident. It was at a club and the manager raised the dress. There was nothing ever that was touched inappropriately. There was a trafficker there next to me and actually lifted up my hand. If I had pulled back right there, my life would have been in danger, no doubt about it. I caressed the side of her arm at the time. Any undercover CIA agent anywhere would have known that if I pulled back and said, oh no, then we would have been in serious danger for our lives. My source told me about Hutchinson and the touching incident. Hutchinson is a guy who brings a lot of money into OUR. The incident was recorded on camera. Ballard told my source, don't show anyone. A trafficker lifted up the girl's shirt and he touched her breast. OUR claims she was not a minor. There was another incident. Hutchinson touched a girl's face and kissed her hand. Ballard ordered the same cut. Tim is terrified the touching incident will come out. Sean Reyes thinks Tim walks on water. Here are some other Hutchinson disclosures. That he had bouts with pornography, even, what he said, barely legal sites. What he meant was not quite child porn sites. That he discussed his porn problem with Tim Ballard and Sean Reyes. He said not that everybody that looks at pornography is addicted, and not that everybody who is addicted ends up being a child pedophile, but every single person that we've arrested, every single one of them started out with an addiction to pornography. He said, when I go on the OUR trips, I feel the Spirit of the Lord 100% with me directing me, speaking to me every single step of the way. Hutchinson has since been accused of fondling a female rescue worker while on a mission. He declines comment. There are some indications, however, that OUR's international operation was faltering even before the pandemic. Reason four, OUR ousted its main financial and operational supporter, millionaire Paul Hutchinson. Before the falling out, he would pop up everywhere in connection with OUR events and missions. Here he is with Sean Reyes, again with Reyes. Here Reyes gives him a child sex trafficking award. Uh, here he is with uh, Tony Robbins, another millionaire OUR rainmaker. And in 2018, when Hutchinson and Ballard were on better terms, they appeared together at a gala at Universal Studios Hollywood. I'll, I'll put it this way. I, ha I had a little thing on my wall when I was a kid. It had a bunch of Ferraris, Lamborghinis. It said, he who has the most toys wins. Oh. Now, my, my, now my quote is, he who has a powerful, positive impact and the most lives wins. Wow. In fact, I want to introduce you to somebody. I, I am, uh, I'm the co-founder of Child Liberation Foundation. It focuses on helping eradicate child slavery worldwide. And, and I know it's a dark subject, but some of the guys that I'm going to introduce you to are guys who have physically gone in and pulled out children from the darkest places on earth who were abducted. And So Tim Ballard, was a, he was CIA and then Homeland Security for 14 years over child trafficking and, and has made us... In, in my opinion, more than anybody else I have ever known of in terms of, of, of creating awareness and, and a, a real positive change to something that is such a dark subject. Hutchinson believes Ballard makes up a lot of OUR's achievements. 
He's now setting up a rival child rescue organization. He says Ballard has a savior complex, perhaps seeing himself as a reincarnated Joseph Smith. Dave Lopez, who is an OUR ops team leader and who is thought to be a Hutchinson ally, is also gone. Early in OUR's life, he appeared with Ballard on Glenn Beck's broadcast, and here he's seen with Ballard and former NFL star and OUR booster Steve Young. Lopez, a former Navy SEAL, led multiple OUR operations in Haiti. He left OUR, may be cooperating with the criminal probe, and he's now sales director for Hutchinson's ATEC defense systems. And, besides, is developing a claimed multi-billion dollar resort on an island off Haiti. Lopez's proposed resort would be on Ilavash Island off Haiti. He claims... This project is going to revitalize the tourism industry of Haiti and stimulate the local economy in a massive way. On top of that, a huge percentage of the profits will be allocated to fight human trafficking in Haiti. However, Tim Ballard is said to have wanted his cut. Ballard purportedly said, The fact that you got those relationships through OUR, you need to give me 50% of your ownership in that entire company. This is what God wants.